Hey, good day, guys. Um, we we're out and about the other day um, in New South Wales, and we decided to go to Lockhart to have a look at this uh, awesome artwork on the water tower that they have in Green Street, which is the main town centre. And it depicts a flowing waterfall surrounded by Australian birds such as the uh, kookaburra, soaring bulgars, willy wagtails, magpies, and also other iconic Australian animals like the kangaroos and the echidna, the possum. The Watertown mural was painted by artist Scott Margie and Jan Berkner, also known as Crimstone. Um, and it took just over two weeks using free hand spray cans. The amazing artist um, applied 600 square meters of undercoat to the tower before painting it. The mural cost around $28,000 to complete it was officially opened in October 2018 on the 12th. The water tower was, surround, was surrounded by a few metal sculptures also uh, made by local artists and they made them um, from farm well, recycled farm machinery and equipment and uh, yeah So along here, now as you can see the, uh, the sculpture of the horse look and then also around the corner here we've got a, a cockatoo and um, a bit rusty um, but still looks really really good and it's worth a visit to see and somewhere here is a nice sculpture of a dog I'm not sure what sort of breed it may be maybe you guys can sort of tell me once you've had a look and going back around here by the Tank. And here's a snapshot of the uh, Lockhart Water Tower Mule. You know, so if you want to read about this, all you've got to do is pause the video. Okay, so can you spot the big kangaroo there? Um, and also by the side you got like a you know, male wagtail showing up as usual, maybe in front of the girls, maybe he's looking for a girlfriend. Um, and then uh, there's a couple of wagtails sitting there, maybe the one female, uh, or two females chit chatting as usual, and the, the male trying to strut his stuff to uh, get their attention. And following around beside the tank, here we come up and we're going to find an echidna. Oh, that's not an echidna, it's a duck. So, but I'm sure there's an echidna here somewhere. Here we go, let's go a bit further around and see what we've got. Here we go. There we go, there he is, sitting there on his own. Um, and above there, what we have is the Eastern Rosella. Beautiful coloured bird. Lots of many colours. A bit like the rainbow lorikeet. And let's have a look around here. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. The colours are brilliant. So here we go. Sort of moving around the tower. And what have we got going on here? Oh, look. This is the shadow of my wife. She's not actually part of the artwork. So this is not included. And so what she was trying to do is to actually read the artist's names where they've signed themselves on the bottom of the tank. And I think my wife is trying to take a video of me. I'm not really sure I want to be in this and the artwork looks far better than I do. You know, so here we are, a couple of ruse there just laying around enjoying the day. You know, looking at the clouds go by. Um, so from here, we'll, we'll move around a bit further to see what else you can see. And you got the kookaburra there above the kangaroos. There we go. The roos lazing in the sun.
Look at the colours. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. These artists have got some extreme talent. They're really, really good. Uh, there's that ghost walking past again. Look, that moving shadow. Oh, oh. gone. Nice, nice. Yeah, look at the clouds in the background. It really sort of makes the tower stand out. It's a nice day, a nice sunny day, which makes all the colours stand out and they're so vivid. Excellent. And right at the very top of the tower, that's the Brolgers soaring around in the sky. So if you're ever out and about in around New South Wales, take a visit here. Okay, so we decided to jump in the car and have a quick look around. So we drive around the town. Yeah, so there's the Lockhart Shire Council uh, building and also the, the water company. And now we're going to sort of move along um, in the town centre along Green Street. Uh, nice old building here on the left. Yeah, and you can see a pub and news agency and a couple of cafes. There's a general store, and there are a few other shops that, uh, you know, are quite interesting to stop and have a look at and to visit. Yeah, Lockhart also has a museum and gallery, but uh, on that day it was closed, um, so we weren't there at the right time. Um, So the, uh, like I was saying, the, the museum was actually sort of closed because we weren't there at the right time to see it. So we decided to have a sort of wander around the rest of the town to, to see, you know, the sort of things that were here. And then uh, as we we're going through the town, we came along this uh, really good sculpture, a metal sculpture of a bull. And I think, look, yeah, look at that. Excellent, excellent. It's worth a look, it's worth a look. And I think you'll find in the corner there, to the right of the bull, there's a little dog. A little sculpture of a dog. Now these artists are pretty clever and they think of those things. And then you got the uh, ex servicemen's club also, just there. Um, Still sort of passing through the town look so if you get an extra extra look to see and now you can also see this awesome metal sculpture that we sort of 
passed by uh, on our way out of the town. Um, it's a sculpture of like it's a horse and carriage, and then they call it uh, the name of the sculpture is Good Old Days. And then uh, we went sort of further along the road, and up on the left here, there's another sculpture there where it's basically it depicts like a group of people going out for a dance. Uh, at the night, here we are on the left here, look. Again, very clever, very good idea. And it, it just makes nice viewing in and around this town. There are 20 odd metal sculptures around the town to see in different parts of Lockhart. And as I say, if you happen to be in the Riverina area, try and swing by Lockhart, which is about an hour's drive from uh, Wagga Wagga which is also New South Wales. So there you go. You just had a virtual tour of the quaint town called Lockhart in the Riverina area. Uh, if you have any sort of comments or questions to ask, please do. And just write in the, the comment section below this video. So there you go, guys. Until our next trip, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share so you will not miss out on our posts of different places and events to see in this beautiful land of Australia.